Okay, second graders, we are working on using models to compare numbers. Compare means look at them and tell the, how they are the same, how they are different. We are on lesson 4.4. We already did the front together using Nearpods, so you don't have to do this. But I'm going to put this on here because I really want you to put your name at the top, at the top. Put your name at the top, at the top. Put your name at the top, so if we lose it, we can find it. Put your name at the top, at the top. I really want you to put your name at the top because I've had a lot of papers turned in without their names. So, name. If I was putting my name at the top, it'd be Mrs. Powell. Alright, remember we're working on tens and ones. Tens and ones. When we're working on tens and ones, we're using that to compare. So if I see 32 comparing to 42, I look at the tens place first. Okay, I always look at the tens place first. So if I was looking at the tens place, I could write 32 and 42. Well, I know that 4 right here is greater than 3. But since I wrote 32 first, I know that the 3 is less than 4, so I'm going to put 32 is less than 42. If I were doing that with symbols, my symbol would look like this. The alligator wants to eat the bigger number. Yes, he does. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, that's just a review. So now let's go to the inside. Okay, second graders, we are on this inside. This is guided practice. I'm going to do this with you. So write the number of cubes and circle is greater than or is less than. So you're using these models right here to compare. Should make it easier because more of the tens, that's going to be a bigger number. All right, here we go. Number one. Well, I'm going to count 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. So that number is 42. And this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, that's pretty easy. There's four tens and only one ten on this side. So I know that four tens is greater than one ten. 42 is greater than 15. All right, number two. Well, I see one ten, two ten, so that's in the tens place, so I know I'm going to put a two there. And then there's one, two, three, four ones, so there's, I'm going to put a four in the ones place, so that's twenty-four. Okay, my next number, ooh, yikes, same number of tens, one, two. I'm going to put a two in the tens place. Let's count the ones, see if there's more or less than the other side. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna put a nine in the ones place. So 24, 29. I see there's a two in the tens place there, two in the tens place there. So I'm gonna look at the ones place. Look at the ones place. Well, I know nine is greater than four, but since this is on this side, I have to read it like 24 is less than 29. Less means smaller. All right. Do you understand? Well, let's see. Do I understand? Which number is greater? How do you know? Well, there's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 here. So I'm going to put a 24 here just to remind me. And there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. Well, I know that 40 is bigger than 20, so I'm going to circle this one. And the reason I know is because there, and I want you to write this, there are more tens. Okay, look at the next side. All right, let's read the directions. Write the number of cubes. Circle is greater than or is less than. All right, so you're going to count the cubes. 
over here, count the cubes over here, write this number here, this number here, and then you're gonna tell me, is this number greater than this number? Or is this number less than this number? Same for four, five, and six. Number seven, ooh, this is like a riddle. Find the number. If you need help, remember, you need to wait until a teacher is available or ask two. It says number seven, it is greater than 39. It has five ones, it is less than 50. So we know that there's a five in the ones place and it has to be between three, oops, sorry, three and five in the tens place. All right, go to the back now. Okay, way to go, you're on the back. You are so close to being done, second graders. Um, go ahead and follow along as I read. Solve the problem below. Joe sees 28 girls at the park. She sees 32 boys at the park. Does Joe see more boys or more girls? On this line, you just need to write boys or girls. Number nine, Julio counts 37 robins. He counts 16 butterflies. He counts 31 crows. Does Julio count more robins or more crows? You need to write crows or robins, whichever one is more. Number 10, Anne has 46 shells. Ben has fewer shells than Anne. How many shells could Ben have? Well, if Anne has 46, he has to have fewer. Would it be 43, 46, 49, or 52? Number 11. Um, you can cross off today. We talked about it during Nearpod. Okay, now, when you're done, Turn it into the turn and basket. Mrs. Powell will get it back to you as soon as she has a chance to look at it. You may do prodigy or you may do front row. If you need your login information, it is at the back of the room by my red table on top of the blue shelf with the books. Please do not interrupt a teacher if they are teaching a small group ask to, and then if they don't know, then you need to just wait. Um, probably get on front row if you can't find your prodigy card. Please do not interrupt. All right, second graders. Turn to dip, prodigy, front row.